The summer floods left a trail of ruined infrastructure, much of which is yet to be replaced or rebuilt. Telephone lines are among the vital services still suffering the after effects, and some residents in southern and central Queensland say their connection is shaky at best. The intensity of the summer floods caused major telecommunications issues across Queensland. At Baffle Creek between Gladstone and Bundaberg, the cable snapped. Its replacement is strung up to a mangrove tree and residents say they can't always use the phone. It's one of many communities still plagued with phone issues after the January floods and it's a big problem for emergency services. Couldn't speak to each other from one side of the baffle to the other and we were cut off in a lot of different areas. Um, we had nothing. We ended up, all the emergency services that we were communicating with, we found a citizens band channel. In central and southern Queensland, landlines are a lifeline. More often than not, there's temporary fixes in place. But many areas like the Boyne Valley, south of Gladstone, still don't get mobile phone reception. We had another outage only last weekend, uh, Thursday night I think it was, and uh, that was a link that had gone out between the tower and the um, automatic exchange down to Bobo. Well, it's becoming more and more imperative that um, we just upgrade our services for the safety sake. For now, Telstra says it's just doing the best it can. The events that have happened in Bundaberg and north of Bundaberg have, have really test, tested our infrastructure and we've seen different things that we can learn from, especially in regard to the numbers of creek crossings and things like that. Telstra says it doesn't know when permanent fixes will be in place. Residents say they are being patient but just hope there's no extreme weather anytime soon. Francis Adcock, ABC News.